Welcome back to the show. We're here to talk sex and relationships with sexologist Dr. Limor Blockman. Hello, Limor. So tell us, what's the secret to being irresistible? I know, isn't it amazing? There are actually factors that can make you irresistible. And we're talking only scientific-wise. Uh -huh. You know, they went and examined it. So the first thing that comes to mind, actually, and it makes a lot of sense, is sense of humor. But uh -huh. it, it's very interesting because men love women that laugh at their jokes, but women love men that are funny. So oh, it's the other, the two other sides of this of this equation, and they actually went and analyzed three hundred uh, singles ads, and they found that actually everybody's posting this. I want someone that makes me laugh, mm -hmm. and I want a woman that laughs at my jokes. It's very prevalent <laughs> in these ads, and very interesting. Moreover. They went and examined in a, in a student's environment, and they found that there's a big correlation between intelligence and and sense of humor. Really? So this is something that was, you know, at least partly, part, partially through, uh, you know, evolutionary progress. It was something that remained to kind of indicate towards intelligence. That's really which interesting. Which is very interesting, I ah, find. Who would have thought? Yeah, yeah, amazing. The second thing is, do you like me? Actually, when 90% when, uh, of people, when they were asked what was the motivation of being involved with someone, they actually answered that the motivation was the fact that the other person liked them mm. and stated to it. That's really interesting. Which is amazingly interesting. And But still, we have the... the, uh, the the problem of playing hard to get because we all love doing this. So what do you do with this? The best thing to do is actually to play hard to get to everybody else, but to uh, to direct all your enthusiasm to this person that you're interested in. Mm -hmm. So this is actually something that they also found in, in different various studies and they found that people really like people that like them. It's just a matter of fact. It reminds me of like grade school. You ever had yeah. a boy who had a crush on you and you yeah. never in your wildest dreams would have like thought about liking him, but yeah. once you had the knowledge that he liked you, right. you're like, huh. Huh, really? this can work. Yeah, <laughs> Joseph, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> it does work. So yeah. it's human nature. Yes, yes. Uh, the third thing that I wanted to mention is how they make you feel, because this is something very interesting. Uh, we don't really, if, if you think about it, we don't really love a person to begin with, but the way we feel around this person. Mm -hmm. And there's a term for it, it's called emotional contagion. They went and examined it on Facebook, where else? So they went and, and, um, and kind of tampered with the posts on people's uh, feed. Mm -hmm. And what they did is re they re reduced uh, the, the amount of positive posts and then, you know, tried again by reducing the amount of negative uh, posts. What they found is that the people that received these, uh, these new uh, tampered uh, results actually reacted the same way that they posted. In other words, when they reduced the positive posts, people started posting negative things. Hmm. And when they posted negative, reduced the negative things, pe people started posting positive things. Huh. So there are a actually ways to not in person and not v using nonverbal cues even. Not, you don't have to meet the person, but you can actually influence someone's behavior. That's so wild. Yes, by doing things you know, to them without mm -hmm. them even knowing. That was very controversial. It was a big mess with Sounds Facebook. Sounds like it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing that was uh, on the line was personality is sexy. Now, I want to say agreeable and conscientious people are good marriage material. But non-agreeable, non-conscientious people have the most sex partners. And this uh -oh. was, yes, ter short-term sex partners. I guess it depends what you're looking for. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and there's a way, it actually, they found that, uh, again, evolutionary-wise, it was necessary to spread the seed and more partners for these people that actually are not agreeable, non-conscientious, people that are not uh, behaving that well in society. Mm -hmm. But I want to say that in all these uh, examinations, women that are agreeable were chosen as number one, even for short-term relationships. Interesting. And even for one-night stands. Yeah. So it's good to be good. Yeah. <laughs> it does pay off to be good. And finally. And finally, vulnerability and openness. In a mm. study that uh, covered you know, 36 questions and many 500 uh, participants, they found that people that uh, answered open and honest uh, um, uh, responses were actually creating closeness with the other person that created something that was equal to a lifelong or, may, or very long-term relationship with the other person. So if you're open and you give the right answer to the person in front of you, there's a big chance they're going to succeed. And you make them laugh. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Way more. This is so interesting. <laughs> yes. Thanks so much for Thank coming you. today.